Live from the MGM Grand Convention Center in Las Vegas, Nevada, it's The Q at Splunk.com 2014. Brought to you by headline sponsor, Splunk. Here are your hosts, John Furrier and Jeff Kelly. Okay, welcome back everyone. We're here live at the Splunk Conference. I'm John Furrier, the co-founder of SiliconANGLE Media. Here with Jeff Kelly, number one big data analyst on wikibond.org. And this is theCUBE, our flagship program. We go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. And uh, we're pleased to have Bill Cull, who's the VP of the US Public Sector for Splunk. He's the man, they call him Mr. Government internally. Um, he's smiling and dialing, winning business. Um, Bill, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you very much, thanks for having me. <laughs> the um, government sector has always been kind of jury-rigged by the incumbent vendors. I worked at HP for nine years, I know that, know how it works. But recently Amazon won a landmark case against IBM uh, with the CIA and you know, if someone told me two years ago or even a year ago that AWS would win the CIA business, I would have said no, no way in hell, not for at least 10 years, because it all ended up, the, the, how long it could take to get into government contract, right? But it proves a new era is on here, on, on the market, people are winning. There's a new requirement. So I really want to drill down with you because um, this is a big, big market. Yep. So how are you guys doing performance-wise? The themes here, the keynotes, Stuxnet, security, cyber, war, cyber security, AKA cyber warfare, China, a lot of national security issues around, you know, what the hell's going on in the traffic, a lot of service providers, you got telcos and uh, MSOs, everything's going on with the data. So, what's going on? Business good? It, business, is, <laughs> business is good, yes it is. There is so, it's a very busy time. Security, big, big focus? It is, it actually is. I mean, security has been traditionally very, uh, a very important part of our business in, in government. Uh, but actually, in the last couple of years, we have really seen a big growth in things like application uh, performance yeah. management and traditional IT ops, uh, but security still is a big part of our business. Well, you guys own IT ops. I got, that's, a, you know, it's just talking to Steve, the CMO, it's like, hey, you, 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 own, you won that. That, yeah. that territory's won by Splunk. Now, there's new markets exploding around Splunk. The data market. Internet of Things, security data. So, can you share some wins and wins in the in the public sector around the, the security and other non-IT? So, um, on the security side, what we're what we've seen is is really a move from what was perceived in the 2000 era around the easy button, where you could press a button and be secure, and everything could take care of itself where we've moved to much more of a human factor where people are investigating almost like an intelligence analysis of what's going on in your security environment, essentially looking at your security posture. And we play a pretty important role in that and provide really a conversation with the data to be able to find out what's going on in the environment and be able to pretty actively go after threats and stop them. So we have been at the right time with the right product uh, at, a, as you point out, a pretty critical time in the, in the government. So the government is transforming Gov 2.0, you see all these trends, and certainly they're awakened to the situation, security and other opportunities. What are the key trends that you see in the government sector that's modernizing? That, that you can say, hey, you know, here's some real specific areas where they're not the slow boat to China, pun intended. Yep. I mean, it really is moving fast. Where can you point to? for the yeah. folks who aren't in the, in the inside baseball, if you will, or inside the beltway of what's well, going on. I think one of the things that surprised people a great deal is the move to the cloud. So for the last few years, people thought the move to the cloud was going to be limited to just email websites. We're seeing agencies actually move very important applications. You mentioned uh, the intelligence community. There's actually been a mandate for a lot of those important applications to move to a private cloud managed by the company you mentioned. So the move to the cloud is a big one. I think that's very important. Uh, and then also around doing more with less, which is something you hear a lot about in government, but they are being forced to do that. And that includes a rationalization of tools, which we also play a part in. Uh, we often are referred to in DC as a Swiss army knife. Um, I think that's a fair characterization of what we do for a lot of agencies is we're able to uh, do a lot of things that they do with a lot of other tools. And they see Splunk as a way to save money, uh, which is pretty important these days. So, you know, famously, uh, President Obama, when he was candidate Obama, used data really effectively in his campaign <clears throat> to kind of target, target voters and kind of get out the vote. And then when he came in office, he, he talked a lot about, and he's actually kind of kicked off a big data initiative within, the, within the, the federal government to really start to use data to better serve citizens. How would you grade the, the, the federal government at this point in terms of that initiative? 
Are they, are they making good progress? Where are they in terms of modernizing those, where they can actually leverage data coming in from whatever the source might be, whether it's public sources, uh, whether it's from uh, private sources? Yep. Uh, how would you grade them in terms of their ability to manage big data to better serve the citizens? Well, I think if you look at the pre-Obama time as far as visibility and transparency into government, I think they get, you know, I'd say pretty high marks. Um, a lot of that data, though, is structured data. And I think we're just starting to see the realization that structured data is only part way there, right? So the, the, play, the place that we play, and I think the part that we play in, important area in is unstructured data, but as far as structured data, which is kind of what people think about, campaign finance, how do agencies run their programs, how efficient are they, they've done really well. A lot of people are surprised when they go to the government website that essentially tracks how efficient IT projects are. You can see everything, they're graded, uh, it's pretty, pretty transparent, and uh, so I'd say they do a pretty good job, actually. So it's the compliance with the compliance, right? Yeah. So the governments over, oversee itself and also have the data. And so I, that's an important part of it. It is, and then you, it's interesting too, because you see government program managers know where they rank, and so they know where they rank security-wise, they, they, you know where they rank uh, posture from an application point of view, how successful they've can we been. we get Glassdoor for all the government workers? Exactly. We can there like you weigh go. in, comms yeah, how do they, It actually exists, <laughs> it actually, it's out there. Exactly true. So, uh, so tell us about some of the things you're seeing, some of the more innovative things you're seeing from your customers in the, in the public sector. Um, and, and where do they come from? Are they coming from, we mentioned the federal side, but I'm guessing state and, and certainly even on the municipal level, you can potentially even have a bigger impact because you're more direct, you're really touching, you know, directly, more directly, uh, kind Absolutely. of there, the constituents. Um, so, what are some of the more interesting things you've seen out there in terms of your public sector customers? Well, I think um, I, I would say that uh, on the state and local side, just to start there, is we're working. Interestingly enough, uh, we think about mobility uh, in local governments, specifically around very large school districts. They have put in wireless networks. And what they're trying to do is, with Splunk, is provide visibility into what's going on inside that wireless net network. If you think about a school district like the LA Unified School District, it's the largest school district in the country, um, that is a massive wireless network that they need to know what is going on. And getting intelligence into who's on it, what are people looking at, is difficult to do. And so we've actually seen uh, of, you know, more than you do, I mean, 25, 30 different school districts be able to provide visibility into their wireless network uh, using Splunk, which is, I think, a pretty innovative uh, use, of, use of our tool. Um, I think also on the federal side, I think that there's interesting uses of Splunk around challenges like you know, insider threat. So obviously with the Snowden and Bradley Manning and those kinds of uh, challenges that the federal government is faced with, uh, we're at the forefront of helping the government uh, provide visibility into uh, those bad actors that want to cause the government harm. So, Bill, I got to ask. I got to ask you about data because one of the things you're bringing up here is not only the developer angle, but also the exper user experience piece. Um, education's like, and people are, argue what level of in this, you know, the, under the ground education is. Um, you mentioned some of the work you're doing there. The kids learning these days are all like very much multiplayer gaming. So the people yeah. are saying that we should be moving to a much more uh, predictive analytics environment for the teachers. So the issue is not so much the curriculum, it's the teachers, right? So any traction with Splunk in the area of bringing some of your magic into the you know, public school systems where your magic can bring data, surprise people with good predictive modeling to well, be absolutely. better teachers? So absolutely. So one of the visions of, of our CEO, uh, Godfrey Sullivan, is, is that we have actually one of the few companies I've ever heard of that has a education evangelist. So we have a person named Rob Reed in our company whose sole job is to bring Splunk into the classrooms. He primarily focuses on higher ed and bringing Splunk into the curriculums of higher education, but that has been an incredibly successful program and they're actually, uh, you know, throughout a large part of, you know, the university base that we work with. Is he in the Bay Area or is he East Coast? He's actually uh, out of the Bay Area, I believe. So yeah, and he works with higher ed uh, organizations yeah. primarily, but we've also uh, had him talk with local government as well, local school districts. What's the progression there? Any insight like down the road? Is it just conversations at this point or is it set some good traction there? Very much so. I mean, I, as far as, I mean, you can actually find Splunk as a curriculum in many of uh, the higher ed institutions. And one of the things we found as far as education goes, Splunk is so easy to pick up that you can really, from an education standpoint, you'd be surprised how quickly people can get familiar with it and get usability out of it. So. Awesome, so I uh, appreciate you coming on theCUBE. Any final insights in government, Splunk, 
it's one of those things where you don't really see it immediately, then you start thinking about it, say, damn, it's not just another vertical you guys knocked down. I mean, what's the dynamics? Share some data about what's going on with Splunk in the public sector. We, I mean, it's exciting. We, I mean, we're just having so much fun in D.C. and out in the state and government, uh, state and local government market. Um, we are, you know, we're a small part of Splunk, but we enjoy uh, helping our customers. We're doing some really neat things. Um, helping both on the national security side as well as just the old-fashioned uh, making applications more uh, economical and efficient and uh, it's been it's been a lot of fun. So. Certainly a lot of data to be had in the public sector. It's available. Full of data. <laughs> Definitely full it's of data. data full. It is. Very okay, much so. we're here in the cube. Bill Cole runs, runs there. Mr. Government, they call him. He runs all the um, U.S. public sector here uh, at Splunk. Uh, we are live in Las Vegas. This is the cube. We'll be right back after this short break.